In today's wrap-up, Armenia plans to create a 100,000-strong auxiliary military force which will include women. Eleven die of alcohol poisoning. The Armenian foreign minister says he is ready to meet with his Azerbaijani counterpart. A new criminal case has been opened against Serge Sargsyan's head bodyguard. And an explosion at a brandy factory kills two. The Ministry of Defence has announced plans to create an auxiliary military force which will be 100,000 strong and include women. The force will be called upon if there are hostilities, after which they will return to not being active. Deputy Defence Minister Gabriel Balayan stated that many volunteers wish to help during hostilities but end up hindering active servicemen. Therefore, an auxiliary force may be set up which will be paid when drafted. The ministry also stated that people up to 70 years old can join and women too will be involved. Balayan added that retired military personnel will be called upon to lead these battalions and that they won't be armed in peacetime. In the region of Armavir, 11 people have died as a result of alcohol poisoning. The health ministry reported that 10 people were admitted to the Armavir Medical Center on August 31st and September 1st, with three dying of poisoning. A further patient died at the resuscitation ward of the Erebuni Medical Center. Four more residents of Yerevan died after being taken to the Armenia Medical Center. Three more patients are still in intensive care units. Furthermore, local police in Armavir have arrested a 50-year-old man for selling the alcohol which didn't meet safety standards. In an interview with the Russia-based Interfax news agency, Armenian Foreign Minister Zorab Menatsakanyan stated that he is ready to meet with his Azerbaijani counterpart without conditions and resume talks in what will be the first meeting since the 2020 skirmishes. Longtime Azerbaijani Foreign Minister Elmar Mamadyarov was dismissed by President Ilham Aliyev and replaced by Jehun Bayramov. Menatsakanyan added that Artakh's self-determination remains a top priority, but added that he is ready to work with the OSCE Minsk Group co-chairs and the Azerbaijani side in order to head towards a possible compromise. The foreign minister was asked if Armenia is unopposed to altering the negotiation format, to which he replied that the efforts to change the format are unacceptable. A new criminal case has been opened against the head bodyguard of former President Ser Sarkisyan. The Special Investigative Service announced that Vachagan Ghazaryan is accused of misusing public funds. According to the CIS, Ghazaryan used public funds to pay security staff working at a business owned by his wife. Ghazaryan was head of Sarkisyan's security staff for around 20 years and was already arrested shortly after the 2018 revolution for corruption, not disclosing assets and tax evasion. He was however released on bail and paid damages worth $6 million. An explosion took place in the village of Armavir at the Prosyan brandy factory, resulting in two deaths and four injuries. At 12.08 p.m. on September 1st, emergency services were called to the scene. It took the fire brigade just over an hour to extinguish the flames. Spokesman of the health ministry, Alina Nigorosyan, stated that four people were taken to the Armavir Medical Center with various degrees of burn injuries, with two others already confirmed deceased. Newly appointed Environment Minister Romanos Petrosyan joined Civil Nets Tatul Hagopian for an interview where they spoke about the Amulsar mining dispute. The mine has been blockaded by protesters who have raised concerns about the environmental impact of the mine, whilst Lydian International, the consortium running the mine, wants to go forward with operations. Petrosyan stated that any decision made by the government will be in the interest of the people and the state. He reminded that there are conflicting economic and ecological interests. He stated that he had not yet visited the mine but will soon, adding that he has to be careful to not appear biased. To the question whether Amusar will remain a mountain, Petrosyan answered, Let's leave that question, but I will clarify my position soon. <laughs>